so much yes. for joining me today okay uh, yes. it's been about you know you, know, you started since 2015 2016 that mm-hmm. you you've been involved in encouraging students in mathematics how did your journey mm-hmm. for uh, this entire thing begin okay uh, so uh, i think it was around 2016 um uh, when i wrote my first book so uh, it it was called the mathematics approach to puzzle solving that's the name of the book so the idea of that book was basically uh, to share my knowledge for math and my love for math so that book is of actually is of two parts like one is about puzzles which people really love uh, what i found is uh, everybody loves puzzles and the second part is math which not many people love i mean there's a lot of, uh, of fear and uh, hate for math Uh, that's mainly to do with how they were introduced to math so i wanted to bring both of these together okay the fun part okay and the math part because when people do puzzles uh, they actually don't know that they're actually using math but it's it's fun right doing doing puzzles like whether it's on the puzzles in the newspaper or in books or somewhere else uh, so i uh, that book was basically uh, to bring these two things together the fun and the math part together and actually show people you know like uh, whatever math they actually they have learned how to actually put them to use uh, in the day to day life right so so simple puzzles like different uh, categories of puzzles um, uh, are described in the book and how we can use math as simple as like in you know, odd and even numbers and uh, and use the, use the math that they already know into some use you know um, because what are the one of the uh, things i have seen is people you know always ask the question okay i learn all these things uh, in my school how do i use it actually what is the use of it right so <laughs> so that's that's how that's how it started okay so when i wrote that book okay i that was uh, my entry my official entry into this uh, math education field and from there on like you know i i met james stanton you know um, uh, and uh, he is the founder of global math project and the inventor of exploring dots so i got into exploring dots and i was wowed by the simplicity of that concept and actually i st- became a global math project ambassador and uh, and i actually started uh, you know uh, giving sessions teaching, teaching children about exploring dots and and actually started using them into other areas of mathematics you know how we can use the concept in other areas of mathematics like trigonometry for example right uh, divisibility rules and those kind of things and uh, um, it was i think uh, on mathematics national maths mathematics day in india 2017 december 22nd so uh, i gave a session um, uh, to a large audience uh, at the vishweshwara museum in bangalore okay and um, that's when a lot of people asked okay is there a book on explain dots okay uh, there was none okay so so at that time it was you know like uh, i went back to james uh, and uh, i told him you know like people are asking for a book on this so we both had written a lot of articles on on explain dots so we thought okay let's put all those things together and make a book and that's how the second book uh, came into place and um, and soon after that um, we actually uh, uh, we started something called uh, a dmath okay a group of folks in bangalore like who are, who are passionate in bangalore and and uh, in india actually basically not just in bangalore okay so we came together and uh, uh, created an organization called dmath okay the idea was basically to come up with a math museum kind of thing okay so where pe- where students can feel and touch and play with math okay so as part of dmath uh, we started a lot of initiatives we had a in 2019 just before covid we had a 9 day event Uh, where we had a football of you know twenty thousand plus people, um, so uh, we had a, a floor in Vishweshwara Museum where we exhibited math models, math games. So it was in, interactive maths through all throughout the nine days, uh, and that was uh, really uh, a good event for us to you know connect with people and show them uh, you know how simple, how fun, and how easy uh, it is to do math. so that that's a quick brief of a of journey into math right so okay. as you already mentioned about your two publications uh, mm-hmm. one is mathematical approach to puzzle solving and the magic yeah. and joy of exploding dots uh, right. you've already touched upon those uh, you know those books a bit but if you could go elaborate a little more on that it would be great okay uh, so the first book is um, about uh, uh, two things as it right like puzzles 
which people everyone loves a lot and and the second part is about math okay so the first book actually shows how we can use math that uh, uh, one has learned uh, as part of their curriculum or elsewhere right how we can use that math and apply it to solving puzzles so basically it's bringing the fun part and the math part together okay so that's so the book has around uh, 12 chapters uh, each catering to different category of puzzles okay and and it it shows basically how you can do a math model modeling and come up with a technique and once you do it you can actually figure out okay when when you're solving puzzles okay um, are these puzzles similar or of different type right because a lot of times what happens is like we keep solving different puzzles but actually we a lot of them are of the same type right so so how we can quickly figure out okay puzzles are of the same type apply the same modeling and and they can solve the puzzle so uh, it's 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 all about you know um, taking the math part uh, taking the fun uh, puzzles and figuring figuring it out the figuring figuring out the math part of it and then applying it and, and you know solving so it so basically it was like making a uh, math fun and you know for children who yeah yes it's it's for kids and also for adults yeah, right so right, right. Uh, yeah because the a uh, lot of times the question comes okay how do i use math so that book actually shows you know the simple math that concept you know actually we can put them uh, and use it for example magic squares a lot of kids know magic squares e odd and even numbers but actually how can they really use it people know about magic squares people know about odd and even numbers everyone knows about odd and even numbers but um, how do you use them uh, in an interesting way to solve puzzles or games so the book also has uh, some games you know that um, you can play uh, i think one popular game is the game of 15 um, uh, okay so the book shows you know how we can actually play that game and by knowing the math you actually uh, have the winning edge you can uh, uh, find out the winning strategy and that can be an edge for you to win the game right so it the book has like three to four games that uh, you can it's it's like a two player game you can play with friends and family and you can using the math you can figure out the strategy and have an advantage to win the game that's nice honestly speaking i wish i had something like this during my schooling days because i used to <laughs> hate math and you know getting me to do math is like a huge thing so it's actually a good uh, thing that you know nowadays mm. kids have this opportunity to learn and play more together so yeah yes. uh math yeah. as i said is a subject not many like so being a ambassador for global math project and through mm-hmm. dimat uh you have been encouraging students to learn yeah. and have fun what was your vision before it started and how is it going now okay the vision of global math project is basically to uplift the joyful math uh so it's not just in india but all over the world okay so along with me there are uh, a lot of other ambassadors who are working uh Uh, as part of global math project all over the world uh, and the idea is basically to bring the um, uh, into the classroom the joy of doing math because when you look at classrooms the curriculum um, uh, all over the world not just in india but all over the world the curriculum is mainly computation based it's more about calculating calculating and calculating so either kids lose interest in math or they start hating math or they start fearing math right these are the things that typically happen uh, all over the world so what we want to do is basically to bring the joy of doing math like we want kids to kind of um, uh, enjoy math they, i mean like when you it's like playing cricket like when you when you ask students to stop cricket in a pt period right they say sir can i play for five more minutes right that's the kind of reaction that's the kind of thing right we have seen we want the same thing to happen in math class so when the math class ends we want the kids to say no no please sir five more minutes can we do it right right this is the because that's why because when you are enjoying some things and something and it stops you want more of it right that's the kind of environment we want to uh, create in classrooms right so i i've been doing these sessions uh, and also i take uh, as part of e vidya loka i i teach government uh, student uh, uh, <coughs> government school students and a lot of times when i when i put this problems uh, on math and when it's when the class is about end in skype they say sir sir can we have for five more minutes <laughs> right that's the kind of reaction i get because because that's the kind of la- uh, 
uh, you know, environment we want to create for the students, where they start loving the subject. It's not just math, it's for any subject, right? When you start creating a love for the subject, uh, that's, that's the, that's the uh, real uh, way of, uh, you know, encouraging students to go to the next level. Because as educators, we cannot teach everything, right? What we can do is we can create a love for the subject. And once we create the love for the subject, uh, our, our job is done, you know? The students will take it, will take themselves to the next level by, you know, learning from different uh, sources. So that's the core idea of the Global Math Project, uplift math through, by bringing joyful uh, environment in the, in the classrooms. So uh, the main tool that we use there is the visual tool called Exploding Dots. Uh, there are other tools also, but this is the main tool that we use. And uh, from DMath point of view, the idea is, uh, uh, again, uh, very similar. Uh, that's heavily focused uh, from India point of view. We want to bring something like a math museum, right? So uh, math museum is, is now getting popular in other uh, parts of the world. But in India, we don't have any math museum, right? Um, so the idea is students can go in and feel and touch and play with math, right? Science museums are popular, but math museums are not. So we want our, our vision. I mean, DMath was started with that vision. And so that's the reason, you know, most of our activities are, uh, uh, are uh, like, you know, outdoor kind of things. It's not like uh, virtual, but because of COVID now, we have started doing some virtual things, but uh, mostly our uh, activities are kind of uh, where we interact with students directly. So our uh, event in VIT Museum, I mean, that was uh, uh, like a nine day event. So we had models, uh, we had games, uh, we had uh, on like uh, live sessions, on exploring dots and magic with cards uh, using math, okay? And also we had in Coburn Park, like in park and in bookshops. So that, the, I mean, uh, that's the vision from DMath point of view, uh, where we want to, uh, very similar to Global Math Project, but it's a focus from an uh, India standpoint. And, um, and, and for a Global Math Project point of view, it's basically uh, to get joyful experience in classrooms all over the world. That's the goal. Okay, uh, you also have, or you also are a part of this Bangalore Math Community Group. Mm -hmm. How did mm -hmm. that begin? And uh, have you explored, or you are planning to explore other cities as well? Okay, uh, though the, it's called the Bangalore Math Circle. So the title says Bangalore. Uh, we have people from all over the world in that group, actually. So it's a uh, it's an online group like where uh, uh, we just discuss about math events. It's just about math, anything about math. It could be something on something about uh, uh, a math event or a math puzzle or a math problem, even funny quotes about uh, math, uh, uh, jokes about math. Okay, it's just a casual math conversation. The idea is to just get people together on a common uh, platform for conversations. So, um, so it, it has people from all over the uh, world. Like it, it's not, it, at the ba the name says Bangalore, but it's. Um, so we are actually trying to rename it to some, you know, uh, just a math circle or the math math circle, rather. <laughs> okay, okay, it started with people from Bangalore, but that's why it was called Bangalore Math Circle. But yeah, it's 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 not just limited to Bangalore. Okay, so apart from YouTube uh, and your play groups and online sessions now since COVID, mm -hmm. uh, how mm -hmm. do you take your ideas and visions to children? Is there an app? or a portal for continuous engagement between, uh, you know, DMAT and Global uh, Math Project and children? Or is there some way, you know, you keep a, keep a continuous engagement with them? Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, during the COVID, what we found is like, uh, we w had to do something which keeps that continuous engagement with the audience. So uh, in November, we started something called the Math Hour. It's called the Math Hour, okay? So it happens every Sunday at 12. Uh, so, uh, where we engage in uh, some joyful math with the with the audience, so primarily with students. So that's a session that happens, uh, which is absolutely free. Anybody can register, um, and it happens every Sunday at twelve. So we have speakers, different speakers every time, okay, uh, who pick up a topic uh, of joyful math. Right? It's it's nothing related to curriculum, but uh, we uh, its idea is basically to uh, engage in. Uh, joyful math and mathematical and uh, ignite mathematical thinking in students. Okay, because what we feel is like uh, um, the students who attend the course, like, you know, not everyone is going to become a mathematician, right? 
one, some may become engineer, engineer, a doctor, a pilot, a chef, right? But whatever they become, the mathematical thing is going to help them succeed in the career. Right? So the idea is basically uh, to engage in uh, uh, activities that ignite mathematical thinking, right? So definitely it's going to help them in their curriculum, but we are not picking topics from curriculum, but we are picking topics which are more joyful, okay, and, and help in mathematical thinking, right? So, so this session happens every Sunday at 12, and uh, this is the kind of continuous engagement we have uh, started, okay? Um, so that, you know, um, students get that benefit of uh, joyful math from the laptops, right? So it's, uh, yeah, they don't have to visit anywhere because of COVID, right? So it's sitting in their rooms, cozy rooms with their laptops, they can get engaged. So we have actually students attending from all over the world, from Finland, for example, from Serbia, and, and different cities in, in, in India. Okay. Um, also, as you know, we are talking about content, uh, you know, large focus of the India groups are uh, vernacular speaking, you know, Hindi, Marathi, mm -hmm. Gujarati. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. do you all focus on those aspects as well, or it's only English content? Uh, that's a good question. So, currently, uh, we are focusing mainly on English, but um, we are also doing, I mean, to cater to the uh, larger Indian audience who are Hindi speaking, right? So we are doing videos. So we have a uh, YouTube channel uh, for exploring dots uh, in Hindi, right? So we are we are doing uh, videos in Hindi and uploading them. So we ha we have a channel on YouTube uh, for Hindi. Uh, right now, it's um, English and Hindi is what we are concentrating on. Uh, other languages, uh, we have plans. For example, uh, Canada. Right, that's the language in Kannada, right? The official language in Kannada. Right? So we are planning to do videos in Kannada as well, uh, but that's in the pipeline. Okay, that's good. Uh, so are there any upcoming books or projects lined up that you know we should be looking forward to? Um, actually, uh, exploring darts and the mathematical approach. So that's an introduction. Uh, uh, it's like part one book. So the part two is in the pipeline, like so uh, on in exploring dots, um, we we have figured out right now how we can use exploring dots in much uh, deeper areas of mathematics, like number theory, okay, and um, trigonometry. So, but the first book uh, doesn't cover them um, because uh, those ideas were actually conceptualized after the book was published. So uh, we are planning to publish part two of the book, uh, but to be frank, I we don't really have an idea, you know, what the what timeline will be available, but that's something people can look forward to. And similarly for the first book, right? Uh, so the mathematical approach to problem solving, um, the second part of the book is is due soon, okay? Because all the content is there. I don't know, like uh, we need to figure out the time uh, it will take to publish the book. So, but these two are something that you know uh, audience can look forward to. That's really nice. So apart from all of this, is there anything, you know, like an uh, content building app or something, you know, coming for kids to be interactive on? Like a play um, app with math, something like that? Okay, so uh, we are looking at developing an app uh, mainly to for students to uh, play the mathematical games that we're developing. So at DMath, we're also developing some math games, which are uh, very simple to play, very easy to play but has deep math thinking uh, uh, inside it. So uh, actually as part of uh, Toykathon, that's um, Toykathon 2021, right? That's a, a nationwide initiative. Uh, that was the contest that happened. So we had submitted some, some math games and two of our games got actually selected in Toykathon. So uh, we are planning to make a, uh, an app, uh, okay? Which has not only those, those two games, but also other games, math games, and, and provide it uh, on the uh, Android platform, right? So, so that you know, people can download the games, download the app, and actually play the games. I mean, the idea is basically to uh, uh, ignite their mathematical thinking by playing the games, right? So, that is something we're working on, uh, and will soon be available. Okay, so that would be like uh, free of cost, or would you be charging yeah. a minimal fee? Uh, no, all our services and products are free of charge. Right? So, <laughs> that's really so that's nice. that's. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. I had just that much for you today. Uh, it was really nice okay, talking sure. to you and getting. Same to you. Know